13. What is the expected electrical conductivity of the following solutions? And then we have C6H1206 in water, which is aqueous, and this is glucose. So it's sugar, right? Pure sugar. Uh, and aqueous, AQ, just means that you are in water. So I have a bunch of glucose uh, in water. If I have a probe that is attached to a light bulb and I put it in this solution, would the light bulb turn on? Would this be electrically conductive? Um, well, there's a couple of ways to go about this, kind of like process of elimination. The first thing that I would look for is whether C6H1206 is one of my six strong acids or strong bases. And I put them down here for you guys at the bottom. You probably have to memorize these. Uh, but C6H1206, glucose, it doesn't make the cut, right? Glucose is the primary um, energy source for us, right, in our body. Um, so it wouldn't be classified as a strong acid or a strong base. But just know that these, if you encounter any of these, these are going to have high conductivity. Which means that if you have this, conduct conductivity, which means that if you have any of these um, ions or these compounds, aqueous style, uh, that light bulb is going to turn on. They are very highly conductive because if you are, if you're going to have electrical conductivity, you just need to see ions in solution. So you have to have positives and negatives, right? Positives or negatives. Uh, but glucose does not break down in in uh, water, right? So now I say to myself, well, is this an ionic compound or is this covalent? I see only nonmetals here. This is purely covalent. Generally, ionic compounds would also be highly conductive because they would be positive and negative in the solution of water. But in this case, uh, it's, it's not ionic. It's not one of my strong acids, it's strong bases. Can I even say that this is a weak acid or a weak base? Uh, generally, in the style of weak acids and weak bases, right, you would see an H that's, f you know, on one side of the end of the compound. So it would be like HC6H1206, right? Generally, if you have an acid, you would see an H in the front of your compound. But these hydrogens are trapped inside the carbons and the oxygens. So they write, they write these compounds for a reason, just to kind of denote, you know, whether it's an acid or a base. So this is, you know, neither acidic or basic. And the only types of electrolytes uh, that can conduct electricity is strong acids, strong bases, weak acids, weak bases, or ionic species. All other ones that don't fit in there is not going to conduct electricity. So this one, glucose, C6H1206, would have no conductivity. So if you did have a, a, a bunch of water, you throw some sugar in there, and it's just got to be purely uh, glucose in this case, right? Uh, table sugar is not glucose, it is sucrose, uh, which is just a combination of, I believe, uh, glucose and fructose. Um, but in this case, if you try to run a wire to a light bulb and you just have glucose in solution, the light bulb is not going to turn on. So... That's it. I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel, and I look forward to helping you out in more questions. So stay with the videos. This is the fastest way for you guys to excel on your tests and quizzes just by doing practice problems. You could read a textbook all day long, but when it comes to test time, you're just going to see questions on your test, right? Not asking you to read a passage. So just as long as you keep doing the problems, doing the problems, it's the best bet to uh, prepare for any test or quiz, I believe. Um, so thank you so much, and I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye-bye.